Welcome to The Right Stuff from Goldspot Pens, a podcast that guides you from pen noob to aficionado in less than 20 minutes. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, we're getting flexy with a bunch of new pens with flexible writing nib options. And I'll share my current favorite flex nib. Hang out to the end and I'll give away something on my desk. So I looked through our new arrivals page on the goldspot.com website and noticed that there was quite a few new fountain pens that had flex nib options. And I want to talk about flex nibs because one of the pens that I just purchased for myself, for my own collection, is also a flex nib. And one of our weekly dip items that we have to talk about also has a flexible nib. So first one I wanted to discuss was the Estabrook SD in Winter White. This is a new seasonal special edition from Estabrook. I know Estabrook makes so many pens in so many beautiful color acrylics, and this one is certainly no exception. This one is a beautiful white cracked ice type acrylic. It has gold trim to really make it have an elegant finish on this uh, design, and it arrives in what you see here, which is a Yovo number no. six size, extra fine. Well, this is extra fine, but there's also a fine point, but it's an elastic nib. It's elastic stainless steel nib. It has an ABS plastic feed. And the neat thing about this particular setup is that since so many pens use the Yovo number no. six type nib, that you could just unscrew this nib unit from the Estabrook and then you'd be able to put it in a variety of different fountain pens that use the Yovo number no. six size nib. So that would include Leonardo, Edison, Penlux, and Monte Grappa, for example. So if you're interested in seeing how the steel elastic fine nib performs, I did do a video comparison comparing the Leonardo number no. six size stainless steel in elastic and also the 14 karat gold nib. So you could see uh, the difference between the gold versus the steel performance and just how much pressure and how much flexibility you could expect with this particular type of nib. The Estabrook SD fills by cartridge or converter, of which both options are included with the pen to start. And inventory on the winter white is a little lacking right now. This is the last extra fine flex nib that we have available, uh, but we do expect to get a limited number of, this is the regular style of SD. Unfortunately, we're not getting any more of those piston fillers, which were super, super popular, but you could expect to see more of the elastic fine nibs and elastic extra fine nibs on future SD releases. This pen retails for $195. It's on sale for $175.50. Next, we have the most recent release from Penlux of Taiwan. This is the Masterpiece Delgado in the Blue Grotto finish, which is a gorgeous layered acrylic that is reminiscent of many Italian acrylics like Leonardo's Hawaii type resin. It's got lustrous, chatoyant bands of blue and green throughout. This particular model has a 14 karat gold Yovo number no. six size flexible elastic fine nib. It also has a plastic feed, just like with the Estabrook pen. Uh, and this is a piston filler instead of a cartridge converter. So you have a bit more ink capacity and you don't have to fiddle with a cartridge or converter separately. Everything's all built into the system. Now the advantage with this particular pen is that despite the fact that it's made of acrylic, which this is made of acrylic here, it has a bit more weight in it because it has the built-in piston mechanism and it also has this forward grip section which is all completely metal. So it has a, quite a bit of heft uh, for an acrylic bodied pen. And like I mentioned with the Estabrook SD, you can see a comparison of what the 14 karat nib will provide you in terms of flexibility versus the stainless steel in that Leonardo nib size comparison video that I mentioned. I'll put a link in the description below and also on the, the card above so you can find that video. Uh, so in short though, just to give a summary, it would be a little bit more easier to flex the 14 karat gold nib than it would be for the stainless steel, although both of them give you generally just about the same amount of line variation when you do press on the downstroke. The Penlux Masterpiece Delgado in the Blue Grotto can be found with the 14 karat gold elastic fine nib. The retail is $460 on sale at Goldspot for $368.
And now, here's a pen that you might be saying to yourself, if you know Sailor pens, you're saying, wait a second, Tom, Sailor does not make a flexible nib. True, they do not. However, we've collaborated with Ralph Reyes of Regalia Writing Labs to add some flexibility to this 14 karat gold Pro Gear Slim Blue Cobra, which we affectionately call the Pro Gear Blue Cobra RS. So it is a 14 karat gold. It's based off of a medium fine nib. So that's where we start with. It has a plastic feed and typically, if you were to try to press on the downstroke of any sailor nib, you're not getting any line variation. It just won't want to budge. However, when we gave a set of nibs and we gave Ralph a, a batch of pens to do, he added a degree of flexibility to them. So it provides a bouncy experience with some line variation as you press on the downstroke, which is completely odd for sailor pens. You might get that with, let's say, the King of Pen, which is a softer 21 karat gold nib, but certainly not on these Pro Gear Slim 14 karat gold nibs. The Pro Gear Slim fills with a proprietary sailor ink cartridge or converter, of which both are included with the Blue Gear Cobra. So the sizing on the Pro Gear Slim is a little bit undersized, comparing it against the uh, Masterpiece uh, Delgado, it's it's a little bit on the smaller side. It's more, uh, let's say, accommodating to somebody who's interested in vintage pens, per, per se, because typically they tend to be a little bit on the smaller side. But in terms of today's type of pens, the Pro Gear Slim is a little uh, undersized, even comparing against the Estabrook SD, it's a little bit on the smaller side. Uh, and some people have asked, uh, why don't you do it maybe on the 21K Pro Gear regular size? Why don't you do this modification on that? We did ask Ralph and he had said because the 21K is a softer material, unfortunately, it won't have the snap back uh, that you need to be able to have it be a flexible nib. So you can find the Blue Cobra Pro Gear Slim RS, which is short for Ralph Script, on the Gold Spot pen site exclusively for $395. Here's a pen that I have adored since I saw the release information on it last month and I said I had to pick it up. I had to pick it up and put it in my own personal collection because this is such a gorgeous pen and I've always wanted to own a Scribo and have it be as a part of my personal collection. I've tried so many of them uh, in the past, have sampled them for customers, have have you know gotten to test them out so many times that I'm like, I finally get to have one uh, that I felt was a great pickup for my collection. And this is the Aquarello. This is the Lodota model, which is the non-faceted smooth uh, shape. It's kind of got like a balloon sort of look where the contour is just pinched together at the cap and then has a straight grip section with a slight taper and a little flare out at the end. Uh, this particular model is airbrushed and hand painted by hand as a limited edition of 99 pieces. It was very, very small amount that we were able to get for gold spot. So there's only five of them left. Uh, they're available in both the 14 karat Feel the Flex nib, which is part of our Flex discussion today, or the 18 karat Gold nib in a variety of different nib sizes uh, that range from extra extra fine through triple broad. So there's a lot of options here with the Scribo nib, which is actually based on the original tooling and designs of the Olmas nibs uh, from the company that had come to bankruptcy around 2016. The pens have ebonite feeds, which is when we are looking at the other pens in this uh, set, they have plastic feeds. This ebonite feed does really help with the flow and keeps up beautifully, especially as you're flexing. Much like the Scribo Field, the Lodota has a piston fill mechanism, so you could fill it up with about, I think a milliliter and a half worth of ink, uh, which is great because you'll need it for the extra ink for flexing. And it's just a beautiful uh, style that um, when I saw this, and I love watercolor, I love artwork and things, and just to know that this was done uh, by hand and painted and just has a beautiful abstract look on this acrylic, chatoyant acrylic blue body, it just, to me, it just felt right. So um, this particular model is available for $695 on the website, but you can find the same flexible 14 karat gold nib on the less costly Puma models that fill by cartridge or converter, and they start at $505. Now, if you're looking for an inexpensive way to get into flex nib writing, or just if you want to get into fountain pens in general, this is a great opportunity here. This is a Monteverde Monza 3 gift set that 
is on our weekly dip special uh, starting this week that the podcast airs. It is a, a, a set, like I said, it's, it's got three different nibs, one pen, of course, and it has what's called the Omniflex nib. And typically you would see these on Conklin nibs, but they are on the Monza in the number five size for this particular pen. So also included are a fine and medium point steel nib, which gives you a good range, I feel, of different types of nibs writing styles, especially if you're new into pens and you don't know, really, you haven't experienced the difference between the different nibs and you don't know what you like. This is a nice way to sample them all and to have them if you're an artist, if you use if you like using multiple type of line widths in your drawings, this is also a good option there too because you would have not only a, a somewhat flexible nib, and this is, I mean, this is probably going to be the stiffest out of all of the nibs that we covered here already. It's a good way to just kind of get a feel for if you're going to, like if your handwriting is going to be well suited for flex nib writing. Um, so what I mean by that is like is like if you are feeling constantly tired by pressing on the downstroke, or if you just feel like your handwriting doesn't look as good with trying to flex it and add that a little bit of embellishment, then don't go for the higher price pointed items. Like you could easily find out if if this is something you like to do, if this is something that you would want to invest more money in doing. There are better options out there, but this is a good starter option. I feel especially especially for somebody who wants to just try it out or somebody wants to get somebody hooked on fountain pens. This is a good way to give them all that they need to get started. So each pen, each nib actually comes with a pretty handy uh, grip unit. So you don't even have to worry about screwing out the nibs and everything. You just screw out the whole entire section. It has a converter that comes with it or it has ink cartridge as well inside the box. So you could, let's say, use this for tricky inks like Base State Blue. So you could have one uh, particular converter that's just filled up with Base State Blue in there. And it's got cool uh, translucent or transparent uh, feeds that are on here, which are fun to look at when you ink them for the first time, but then might be a little bit difficult to get them 100% completely clean and devoid of any sort of ink stain uh, thereafter. But um, those are certainly something you don't see every day when you uh, purchase pens. Uh, so you'd be able to put like, let's say shimmer inks and things like that. If you want to put a shimmer ink in the medium point and then just keep that as your shimmer pen. Um, so it's, it's an interesting way to be able to uh, play around and just experiment a little bit. Uh, the pen design itself is a pretty standard, I would say classic look uh, of a pen design. Uh, maybe like a, uh, a 1911, if you can imagine like the, the rounded ends on the Sailor or like the Estabrook SD. It's kind of like a cigar type shape, uh, but also includes the more contemporary design of a demonstrator uh, translucent plastic material. So what makes this a very appealing starter pen set is not only the fact that you have a lot of things to get you started with and to sample and to try, but it's also very wallet friendly. So it starts off retail price is $35, but on our weekly dip special, it is $19.99 for this entire set. And it's also available in either clear or blue color demonstrator. Now, before we get to the question of the week, I want to share a few pens that I'm excited to see arrive at Gold Spot. First, we have the Leonardo Memento Zero Black Sands limited edition exclusive coming back for the final 62 pieces of the 150 piece limited edition. We did have a limited amount of them to start with last year, and then they had promptly sold out. But now we have the rest of the pens which were due to us that are finally coming back into stock. They have a layered chatoyant acrylic resin similar to the Penlux Blue Grotto, but cut at an angle for an arco celluloid like effect. And they also have black trim, black finished stainless steel nib, and they'll be expected to arrive late March, early April. Decked out in rose gold trim and a shimmering copper toned resin body, the classic M200 copper rose gold is an elegant stylish fountain pen that is sure to be popular with pen enthusiasts and fashionable creative individuals. Originally, this pen was announced back in September of 2023, so the wait is almost over for this luxurious Pelican pen arriving at the end of March. A pen of mythological proportions, the Visconti Mirage Mythos Poseidon has a deep, dark swirling blue 
blue and black resin with a sandblasted matte finish and textured ruthenium metal trims. As opposed to the usual high gloss polish you see on most pens, a full matte finish is starting to trend with popular pens like the SD Raven and the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande Primary Manipulation 1 selling out very quickly. The Poseidon is available in ballpoint, rollerball, and fountain pen and should be coming shortly, so it might be in stock by the time that you watch this video. You know we love a good space themed pen, and Sailor shoots for the moon with the new Professional Gear Iris Nebula fountain pen design. For this 2024 overseas exclusive, only 1,500 pens are available in this sparkly colorway. This edition will be available in both Pro Gear Slim, which has a 14 karat gold nib, and regular size, which has a 21 karat gold nib. Iris Nebula should also be available within the next few days, so it might be in stock by the time that you watch this video. So we talked about flexi pens in this episode, so we have a flexi question coming from Mut Vonheim 3838, who asks, what is your favorite flex nib? So in this episode, we looked at several different flex nib options that are relatively new pens. So you might be wondering to yourself, which flex pen is Tom's favorite? which gets his flex nib seal of approval. My current favorite is the Regalia Writing Labs Cross Flex Nib. I love this flex nib because it is capable of the largest ratio of flex to unflex line width. I'm just kind of gently pressing it here on my thumbnail just to show how much the tines can possibly spread and just, I'm just doing it very softly. Uh, but I'm just convinced that Ralph Reyes is capable of alchemy to make a stainless steel nib feel like a soft gold nib. And since the Crossflex is made from a Yovo nib unit with a threaded housing, I could put the Yovo number no. six nib unit on a variety of different pens, which I put the Crossflex nib into my Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0 um, that I use very, very regularly. Currently, you can find a few Crossflex Ikaku pens on our website, including the Ikaku Urushi Gradient Cinnabar finish that I'm holding right here. Congrats go to Nut Vonheim3838 for being picked as the question of the week. You've won the Navalor Nautilus Horsehead Nebula Fountain Pen that I mentioned in last week's episode. Email me at tomicgoldspot.com to claim your prize. For this week's giveaway, we're giving away this purple Monza 3 fountain pen set because I removed the original packaging for this video and I certainly can't put it back on the shelf anymore. So to enter, you must be subscribed to the Goldspot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment below with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future video. If I answer the question of the week, you win. If you'd like to see me write what the pens mentioned in this week's episode, you could check out Goldspot Pens YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikToks for writing samples, especially with the flexi nibs. I love playing with flexi nibs. So thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Write Stuff Podcast by Goldspot Pens. Now go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Till next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.